as your daddy makes us out to be. I'll bet you that. Did you know that your daddy used to love us? Yes, he did, and we loved him, too. We loved him, too. He was the best quarterman that was ever born. The best one. He was generous and kind and smart. Ah, oh, heck, why be modest? He wasn't smart. He was brilliant. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't know you were in here. Um, Leticia left the baby monitor with me, and I stopped hearing anything. Oh, I turned it off. I hope it didn't alarm you. I was just getting acquainted with Michael. Gorgeous, isn't he? He's gorgeous. He looks just like his daddy. You think so? Mm-hmm. Well, I definitely think he has his dad's eye. He's got his grandma Bobby's hair. And his nose kind of reminds me of Carly's. But other than that, I think he's a regular baby. Yeah, only for a little while, though. Soon he'll be going to school and playing sports and growing up right before your eyes, just like you. Dad, um, I, I don't want you to think that Jason's not coming back because he is. Michael living with us is only temporary. I pray you're right. I am. I envy you, you know that? You were able to hang on to Jason as your brother when I lost him as my son. You know, Jason told me once that he didn't hate you or anyone in the family. You just expected things from him that he couldn't give you, so he stepped away. But now I think I can understand how you felt. Why? Because I missed him so much. So what are we going to do with you now, huh? Huh? What are you going to do now you're all dressed? Huh? What do you want to do? <gasps> you're so good with him. Well, he makes it easy. He's so comfortable with you. He, he knows that you love him. I'm so lucky to have you for my daughter and Michael for my grandson. Every time this family seems to be on the verge of self-destruction, we seem to get another chance. First it was Jason, and then it was you, and then Michael coming along, my beautiful boy. But, but you, I, 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 I made so many mistakes with you, Emma. I, I'm so sorry. I, I promise you from the bottom of my heart that I'm never going to do that again. I, I promise you that. I'm going to give you all the time that you need, and I'm going to give you all the attention that you deserve. And, and beautiful little Michael here, he's going to... He's going to have every chance that Jason and A.J. didn't have. Like what? Well, uh, he won't have to go to boarding school, and he's not going to have to listen to his obsessed parents quarreling about love affairs or what the cook made for breakfast or didn't make for breakfast. Right? That's what we're going to do. We're going to devote every single minute of our lives to this beautiful little boy, and, and you can help us. God, Jason did such a good job choosing you for a godmother. I'm so lucky to have you for my daughter. You, you just said that. So I'm saying it twice. I, I, you're the best daughter in the world. What is wrong with you? Maybe I have to go get Mom. Why? You look strange. You're acting weird. What do you mean I'm acting weird? I tell my daughter that I love her, I tell my grandson that I love him, and that's acting weird? I woke up this morning, and I realized that Michael is my last chance to do something right in life. That is not acting weird. That is acting with hope. Now, Michael understands what this... Don't. Don't? What do you mean, don't? Don't pick up my grandson? I can pick him up anytime I damn well please. I just don't think it's a good idea right now. First, Jason, now you. You are acting as if you have to guard my grandson against me. 
No, Dad, it's just that he has a schedule and he needs to stick to it. He needs fully... What do you take me for, an idiot? No. Then why are you so afraid that I'm going to hold him? Dad, please, you're going to upset Michael. I'm not upsetting Michael. I didn't do anything. I was just having some time with him. You came barging in this door and you started mouthing off. I did not. You did not? Tony Jones gets better treatment than I do. I am so sick and tired of apologizing and groveling for my children's love. Calm down. I can't believe it. Just think for a second. Think for a second about my life. Give me one second about my life. My oldest son is a drunk. My second son is dead. First in spirit, now in fact. Don't say that. My wife can't restrain herself from doing anything with anybody, including members of my own family. Yes. And you? You act as if I'm going to hit you every single time I walk into a room. Have I ever hit you? I have never hit you! Never! And I will never hit this little boy either. You want to cry? You go ahead and cry. But I'm not apologizing for anything anymore. You want to guard Michael? You guard him! I'm out of here.